Namaste, everybody. We're here with the lovely Melissa to demonstrate the, the incredibly demanding corpse pose or shavasana or resting pose. Um, we start here in child's pose and we just come up to hands and knees like a child about to crawl somewhere and crossing the legs behind you deeply, Melissa. Put the butt on the floor behind the feet. Bring the legs forward. Lay on your back. Good, and just squeeze both knees into the torso. Good, so when we do Shavasana, we want a really, really deep relaxation, okay? Shavasana means to sit still or quietly in the corpse position. That says a lot. So from here, Melissa, very gently, just on a big inhale, try to touch your head towards both knees and just squeeze everything. Maybe if you tense everything, even your toes and your face muscles, maybe it'll make it easier to relax. So one inhale, everything squeeze, and on a big exhale, release everything. Your legs out straight and relaxed. Your feet hips width apart, your feet dropping open, your shoulders dropping open, your palms dropping open. And when you get to Shavasana, you just want to make sure you feel relaxed. You don't want any part of your body crunched. So if you need to lengthen the legs or the neck or the arms or roll the shoulders open, feel free. And then all you have to do is just get really still and just sink into a quietness that's pretty rare, right? Most people won't do this throughout their days. And even if you did do this, it probably would not have the same as effect as doing this after a long, strong yoga practice. You really are able to relax deeply. Some people even say that entire yoga practice was meant to get you to this pose so you could relax so deeply because you can't imagine anything more opposite of stress than how you feel when you get to this pose. Now, I just want to look at this name for a second, Shavasana, right? Shava means the corpse. Corpse is dead body. That signifies no movement of body or mind. Right? Asana means to sit still or to sit quietly. This also signifies the stillness and the quietness. So when you get here, you're not only physically still, but you want to try not to drift into thoughts or fantasies or dreams. Okay? You want to keep the mind quiet. And we do this using one, two, or even three different techniques. It's not easy. One technique is just keep your attention on the subtle breath because in this pose, you're no longer breathing deep. Keep your attention on the breath. And as your mind watches the breath, it stays very quiet. And if you notice your mind drifting away, just keep pulling your mind back to that quiet place. Another technique is just to stay aware of the thousands, if not more, of subtle sensations appearing throughout your body as those sensations are really symbolic of all the different places that we stimulated throughout the class. So you're paying attention to all the subtleties you're feeling. And in doing that, your mind will stay really quiet, allowing you to relax deeply. And you're also keeping your mind present because what you're paying attention to is something that's happening right now. Another technique, if you want, is you can move through your body in three to five inch increments, starting at the top of your head and moving to your feet and then back up to the top of your head as many times as you'd like for as long as you want to stay in resting pose, shavasana. And in each increment, visualize that area softening, relaxing, releasing, If you want, you can visualize the area being infused with some kind of healing light, right? So you're actually visualizing each three to five inch patch of flesh completely relaxing. And this technique of visualization 
takes the relaxation to an entire another level. There's actually an entire yoga practice now devoted just to doing this. They're calling it the Yoga Nidra. We have some on the website. Search it out. Anyways, everybody, sorry for the prolonged discourse here, but I do want you to get the most out of this one. This might be the, one of the most valuable of them all in this rat race. Namaste.